so now we've set up our iPad and we're ready to plug it in. We're gonna go through just a look at how you can connect it and what you can connect it with. As we said earlier, what comes in the box is a power adapter, which is what I'm holding in my hand right now, and a cable that connects the iPad to either the power adapter or to the computer. We'll start with the power adapter. The power adapter is a square device and basically this is the, the piece or the component that connects to the wall or to a power source. And uh, one end is the, the two prongs that uh, they actually fold down. So as when you first open it or when you first take it out of the box, you don't, the prongs are not extended. So what you have to do is find them, which is, which is uh, easy to find. Um, they're in one corner of the device and then they fold out and then you can hear that they actually lock or you can feel it as you're pulling them out or folding them down. They kind of click into place and lock. So they should be at a 90 degree angle to the rest of the device. Directly opposite on the other side is a standard universal serial bus or what we call a USB port. And this is where we plug in the cable that connects this adapter to our iPad. The other component that came in the box is a cable that allows us to connect our iPad either to a power source or to another computer. So one end of this cable is a standard USB connector. Pretty much everything connects to our computers now via a USB. The other end is a proprietary port connector that is proprietary to Apple iOS products and it's longer and thinner than a standard USB port. This connects to the, the iPad right below the home key in that port that's there. Okay, I'm gonna connect the cable to our power adapter. So I'm gonna use the USB side and we're gonna connect it to our power adapter and it slides right in. Once that end is connected, we can take the other end and connect it to our iPad. The other end of our cable connects to the iPad right below the home key and we line up our port with our connector and kind of push it in until it won't go anymore. This port is locked in place now. In order for me to remove it, I don't just pull it out. We take the shorter ends and squeeze them together so that it can release from the port and then just slide it out easily. So I'm going to reconnect the cable to our iPad and I'm gonna remove the USB end from our power adapter and then reconnect that USB port end to our computer. Now that the iPad and the computer are connected, you can sync the two devices so that you can put media, any kind of music, videos, photos onto your iPad and vice versa. You can also use this connection to back up what's on your iPad so that in case anything happens, you can restore it directly from your computer. A couple of things to note, the USB port, if it doesn't fit in one way, flip it over and try a different direction the USB port will only connect to its connector in one way. So you may want to try a couple of things if you're having any difficulty. And another note about the adapter is that the edge with the prongs on it actually slides off and allows you to connect to an extension cord so that you can have a little bit more distance between where you plug in and where you sit with your device. Now you're ready to sync your iPad to your computer. In order to do this, you must launch iTunes on your computer and follow the steps there to be able to transfer media back and forth between the devices.